Hello, this is Salar PVTV from EU PVSEC 2016 from Munich. We are together with uh, Patrick Hofernozar, who is one of the solar pioneers, um, not only in Europe, but also in the world. He was founder of uh, the company, well-known company, uh, FreeS. Then afterwards, when the company was acquired by Mayer Burger, he became the head of energy systems at Mayer Burger. Hello. Hi. Hi, Thomas. Nice meeting you. So... As you are a pioneer, let's say one of the pioneers of the solar industry, what do you feel about uh, this year's uh, UPVSEC? Did you notice every, anything interesting that you would like to share with the, our audience? I see, I see that the quality of the papers we have and the quality of the people attending is very high. So it's really the scientific number one conference we have. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a lot uh, of publications on new technologies. Again, the heterojunction is coming. There were perovskite technologies, but also details in certain parts. So I think it's a good conference. It's a worthwhile conference to be here. It's interesting, and it really shows that EU PV on the scientific part is an excellent conference. So, Patrick, uh, you are observing, let's say, the e equipment market from the beginning. In the recent years, people were mainly focusing on the skinning up they were not thinking too much about the new technologies, about upgrades, but I think that this year is quite interesting, yes, because companies, they start again to buy equipment, especially for, for the heat technology, for peric technology. Could you comment on that? Yeah, we had a large overcapacity, mm -hmm. and now the end market comes in the range where the capacity is. Mm -hmm. So, of course, there's a next cycle to invest and uh, also to expand the capacity. Let me tell you a little bit about the market. Mm -hmm. Today, PV is integrated in another market. In future, PV and wind will be the energy carriers and the other energies will integrate into the PV market. Mm -hmm. So we are in a major shift. And this means we need to continue to improve on technology development to reduce the cost, to increase the efficiencies. Mm -hmm. So that's why we see this interest and this is this shift basically in energy becoming, PV becoming mainstream. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are based in Europe, so you have, let's say, global company, but you have the European heart. And you were telling me that uh, this heart uh, is not doing so well because the uh, European market is not doing so well like it was in the past and uh, it can lead to losing the leadership in, in the global solar PV. Could you also tell us what is your opinion on that and what should be done actually that we still remain in Europe as a, uh, leaders in the technology but also in the industry? Look, if you look at Meyer Burger, we're a global company. Mm -hmm. We go wherever the markets are. We're supplying to the markets. And but on the European part, as you told me, the, the yeah. European heart, I think with the market growing so fast, the global market, we will have in the different continents, we will have applications. Europe is leading in science. Mm -hmm. So, and therefore, why are we leading? We had a very strong home market. Mm -hmm. If you look at the European end market, the European end market reduced massively. If you look at the installations in Germany, how they collapsed in Italy, mm -hmm. Spain, which even puts a tax now yes. on solar. It's, 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 it's incredible on the, on the growing, really growing end of countries, they would like to introduce, you know, the tax on self-consumption. Yeah, of course. It's like if I grow my tomatoes at home, I have to pay a solar tax because they are grown by the sun. Mm -hmm. So I think we really need to see what we are doing and where we are. And that's why I think first part on the political side mm -hmm. is scientifically we're good. We have still strong equipment industry. We need to have a solid end market that we earn on what we invested in science, in the research since the 1980s. So that's my wish on the political part. Because if not, uh, I think that uh, even scientific people, they will emigrate to the United States, to China, to Taiwan, to Japan, yes? Uh, of course, where you have the end market, you develop innovation. And innovation is the driver to get this energy even cheaper. So we are, Meyer Burger is still focused, it's very focused on, on a, we, we want to do, we have excellent conditions here in Europe because we are close to universities, but we are doing global innovation. Mm -hmm. And on the long term, you always see that where the big markets are, uh, on the second step, you have also the supply chain coming, and then you have also the R&D coming and the science coming. And you would like to be closer to the market always, yeah? Yeah, of course. But PV is 
will become as the major energy source. Mm -hmm. Also in this copa volume, there's enough room for all the continents, enough room, and we need it. The globe, the Earth needed it. Yes, exactly. And um, with regards to the, you were mentioning that um, you notice so a lot of interesting papers here uh, with the new technologies coming. Could you, you know, from your expertise, um, tell us what will be the, the next technologies uh, besides the standard ones, which will be driving the, the, the market um, uh, within next two, three years? Look, if you look at the next two, three years, basically, if we're talking about market volumes, then it's technologies we have today. Mm -hmm. This is technologies we, Meyer Burger, continue to innovate and continue to invest in R&D, even the market was down. So mm -hmm. these are these technologies, this which will come beside the conventional technologies, the upgrades which are done. So more upgrades. There's on the one side upgrade if you say two, three years, but of course we also see the heterojunction technology uh, with smart wire interconnection, of course, which will come. And uh, a bit uh, in the bit longer perspective? We will have continuing on the development, on the roadmap. Uh, I see newer technologies, it takes always longer than you expect until they are in the market. And uh, so we will continue on the innovation. And there's a lot of publications, if you see, very interesting here, uh, which will t need time until we go into the industry. We need to see that the learning circles, uh, learning cycles, are the speed is increased so that we have good conditions. If I make a little comment, in Switzerland we have a pilot and demonstration projects on the end market, which is really useful, and then you can enhance and go to these increasing technologies. But the main, today the technology is available mm -hmm. to solve the growth we need to have and the growth of the Paris, of, of the COP, which we want to have in PV. So what would be your uh, recommendation for the next EU PVSEC? keep a very high scientific standard, keep it as the scientific conference mm -hmm. globally, focus on this where we are really strong and uh, keep it as the, the scientist, biggest. biggest scientist conference in the world for PV and be really push it to the court. And you, you're gonna of course come for the next edition? Yeah? Of course. I'm here since many years, I've seen how it grew from small parts, I've seen uh, the, the conference growing and uh, I think it's a very important conference. So thank you so much and uh, we see each other on other events, but of course on EUPVSEC 33rd edition in 2017. Thank you so much Patrick for, for your comment and I wish you also all the best uh, with Mayer Burger. Thank you so much.